Today I'm gonna to show you how to dice an onion. It's hot. I turned the AC off for you. I can't put a bra on. If you find that inappropriate, come back for the next video when hopefully it's cooler. But today, this is the best I can do. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do, I'm doing it in the dining room because the lighting is better. Obviously, usually I'd be in the kitchen. Put something called a silp hat down on your cooking service. This keeps surface, sorry. This keeps the board from sliding, but it's on something that's sliding now, so I guess I just fucked it up. So let's try again. Okay, so take away your slip surface, put down the silt pad, and then put down your cutting board, okay? Now you have a stable of the table shaking. I know, but you know, your counter's not gonna be shaking, so whatever. And then just, what I'm gonna do first, I just sharpened my knife, so I'm gonna test the blade, okay? Okay, so my knife is still not sharp enough. So I'm gonna go back and sharpen it properly and then I'm gonna come back. Okay, I switched cutting boards because I don't know, I don't really wanna talk about it. So what I wanna do first is talk to you about how to peel an onion that you're gonna dice. So it's important to, yes, I'm taking off onion, get over it. Okay, so it's important to take off stem and then cut your onion in half at the root, but not through the root, okay? So like that. Okay, and I'm going to cut through the middle here and another one here and another one here. I'm gonna do, try to do a medium to fine dice today and just go do, do, do. So when you're cutting, curl your fingers. This guy the other day was talking about the drag method and the this and that, that method. I cooked professionally for years. I didn't know what he was talking about. I was really impressed. But I can tell you by showing you, curl your fingers and kind of dig your fingers into the product so that when you're cutting, if you hit anything, you're gonna hit this part and just go down of your knuckle, not your fingers. Another thing is when you choose a knife, people who say it's personal preference, it's wrong. You're gonna choose a knife if you're doing a lot of cooking, chopping that has a light blade. The Torinox, Wustoff, not the other expensive, you know what brands. That's the kind of knife that you want. If you're a professional cook, that's the kind of knife that you want. I know ladies that have homes and they have all this expensive stuff and they tell you your stuff is shit. No, if you cook, this is the kind of knife that you want. Okay, so. Okay, then I'm gonna turn it around. Okay, and then do the rock, the rock, I don't know what the, and then just, okay, so it's more of a fine dice like I wanted, but I didn't know what was gonna happen. Okay, and the ends I just always kinda rough. Oh, and I didn't do the proper, sorry. I'm just gonna put that in a bowl. So it's something, I don't know if people will tell you different things, but, if you wanna chop onions ahead of time and reduce that time during the week, you can go ahead and do that and throw them in the fridge. I've never had a problem doing that. I think it's a good thing to do if you wanna save a few minutes, save your cutting board. Not so much garlic because garlic kind of ages. And I mean, you can buy the garlic in the bottles in the fridge. I think that's they're disgusting. The other thing that you want to make sure of that I still didn't even do a very good job with is to make sure that your knives are sharp. I just spent the last half an hour at least trying to sharpen this one and it was dull. Wow. 
So make sure your knives are sharp. This one is still not where I want it to be. I am so ashamed of myself that I let them get to this point. And if you are a professional cook, cooks get fired for not having their knives sharp. So I don't know, just some food for thought. Okay, and just rock there. Move your hand along with the knife. Then chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, chop, ugh. Not that. Chop, chop, chop. Okay, and then you have another dice. I'm gonna use this for my spaghetti tomorrow and I'm gonna use it for my chili because I cook chili for 15, 20 minutes. I do not do a long chili cook. So if you are, the, the rule is kind of the longer the cooking time, the larger you want the item. So if you're doing a long, bone broth say which should cook for several hours you want big hunks of carrot in there big hunks of onion you don't want to be doing a dice whereas i do quick cooks of my chili my tomato sauce because i'm just doing them you know for weekday meals and that kind of stuff so i do them really quick i i boil them at a higher temperature and then i do them really quick and i've found that I've had really good results taste-wise doing that. So that's what I do, but that's the rule. So that is the dice. Again, I'm gonna use that. It's gonna to go towards two meals. I'm gonna stick it in the fridge right now. And that is how you dice. Guys, my name is Cast Contents. Thank you so much for coming and I will see you in the next video. Bye.